So I'm not sure if you know this or not, but intermittent fasting can supercharge your gut microbes. When you put bacteria on a fast, or mice, or fruit flies, or bugs, they live a lot longer. You see an increased resistance to oxidative stress and xenobiotic stress. This is exposure to chemicals. Like in chemotherapy, for example, if someone goes through chemotherapy and they're fasting, the microbes, which make up a lot of the immune system, can survive longer. When you do fasting, you increase diversity of microbes. That's cool. You also increase tolerance to bad bacteria. It also will restore intestinal epithelium, which is the lining of your colon. And I already touched on they live longer as well. And when you're doing fasting, you starve off the food, the sugar, for yeast and candida. So you kill off the bad population, the pathogenic microbes, and you help the good population. And these microbes do a lot for you. They help recycle and increase your bile acids, which help you digest fats and extract fat soluble vitamins, omega-3 fats. They help make butyrate, which is a healthy fat that helps your blood sugars, okay? So it'll help insulin resistance. It feeds your colon cells the fuel that gives them energy. And by the way, fiber converts to butyrate. Um, if you go on a diet that's low in fiber, let's say carnivore diet, um, people always want to know, well, what's going to happen to my microbes long term? Well, we don't know. There's not a lot of studies out there. There's some people experimenting right now, and what they're finding is there's shifts from one population of microbes to a completely different uh, set of microbes. Uh, you're getting less fermentation, which means that you're going to have less acids. Potentially, that could be an issue, but we don't know yet. We do know that if someone has a history of microbial imbalance, SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, inflammatory conditions of the bowel, they do very well without a lot of vegetables. But microbes uh, make branch chain amino acids. They make the amino acids to help you build neurotransmitters. They help you make vitamins and get rid of toxins and decrease inflammation. So what we wanna do is we wanna support these microbes. And one way to do it is intermittent fasting. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.